Hey gang, Private Jack here. Welcome to part five in my series on how to take a Valve static model, decompile it, get it into Blender, fiddle around with it a little bit, export it back to Source Filmmaker as its own model. So in this session, what we're going to do is we're going to cover the installation of Blender Source Tools. If you don't have Blender Source Tools installed, then you're not going to be able to import the models that we've decompiled using Crowbar. So a lot of people want to see this done with the Steam version of Blender, and that is basically the version that we're going to use. First thing is, is that if this is the first time you're using Blender Source Tools, you're going to have to install, or you're going to have to download it so that you have it to install. And back in episode one, I showed you how to go about finding it and basically downloading it. Now, Blender Source Tools, as of 2.5.2, don't work with anything uh, below Blender 2.74. So if you're trying to install this particular tool to 2.69, it's not going to work. What you're going to have to do is go back and find uh, a previous version of source tools or upgrade to 2.74. Download it. Just click on the download button and save it to your desktop. And that's how fast it comes down. It's already down and on my desktop right here. Okay, so Blender. If you haven't got Blender already and you want the Steam version, all you have to do is go into the Steam store and find, uh, type up here Blender and find it. There's a little free button here that comes up. I click on that and it will install. When Blender installs to your hard drive, it will install into the Steam directory under Steam Apps Common Blender. And here it is here. Already Blender has gone through th uh, two updates since it was introduced to Steam. And I can tell you that it actually does do the updates. So if you're concerned about that, Blender in Steam updates automatically. Okay, now that that's done, we need to install Blender Source Tools into Blender. And I'm going to launch the Steam version. So I come here to Library, go into my Softwares folder, or Softwares uh, tab, and this is where the Launch button is actually installed. So click on Launch, and here's Blender. <clears throat> to install Blender Source Tools, Source Tools will insert itself into the Scenes Property Panel. It's just so that you can see that I don't have it already installed. Here it is. Okay. To install Blender Source Tools, I've got it down here on my desktop. And I don't have to unzip the file. I don't have to do anything with that download. So I'm going to expand that. I'm going to come up here into File. I'm going to go to User Preferences. And on the User Me uh, Preferences panel here, I'm going to select Add-ons. Now I'm going to actually type in Blender, just so that you can see that I don't have Blender Source Tools already installed and it's sitting in the background just waiting for me to do something with. When Blender, uh, when I install Blender Source Tools, it's going to insert itself into App Data Roaming Blender Foundation Blender 2.75 Scripts Add-ons. As you can see here, there's nothing here right now that says anything about Valve source models or anything else like that because I haven't got the plugin installed. Okay, <clears throat> let's get the plugin installed now. So, from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Install from File. Now, I'm going to point the browser at my desktop 
and find that zip file that I just downloaded. I'm going to select it and click on install from file. What that will do is it'll create a new panel button here that is unchecked. And if you look over here in my properties panel, it still isn't here. As soon as I click on that little checkbox there, Blender Source Tools will insert itself into the property into the scenes property panel. Now, if I was to close everything out down now and relaunch Blender, this source tools would disappear. And the reason for that is because I have to tell Blender that this tool is going to be available to me anytime I launch it. And the way I do that is by clicking on the save user setting. So just to show you, I'm going to close it down without clicking on that. I'm going to relaunch Blender. <clears throat> I'm going to go into that scenes property panel and Blender source tools is gone. To get it back, I come back into file user preferences, type in Blender, and as you can see that the plugin is still available, it's just not turned on. So I click it on. This time I'm going to save the user settings and I'm going to close out a Blender. I'm going to relaunch Blender and this time when I go back into that properties panel, I will find that Blender Source Tools is available after doing the launch. I don't have to do anything else. Coming back into that add-ons folder, I can now see that Blender Source Tools has actually inserted itself into that apps data roaming Blender, Blender, Founda Blender Foundation Blender 2.75 scripts add-on folder. This is kind of a good thing because now when I float between versions and I'm going to go into my install of the blender.org version. Blender reads the configuration files from that apps data folder. So if I come in here now and I look in my scenes property panel, I'm going to find that any of the add-ons, the custom add-ons that I've added, that are in that particular add-ons folder are available and it doesn't matter which version of Blender I use. When it comes time for updates and Blender updates through Steam, all I have to do is come back into 2.75, pick up my config and scripts file, uh, folders and copy them into the new version that shows up in here. And my plugins and add-ons and all the rest of that good stuff will be available in the new version that downloads. Okay. Blender Source Tools is actively monitored and changed from time to time. Now if you have Blender Source Tools already installed on in Blender and there has been an update, and you should always check for updates uh, regularly. All you have to do now is you don't have to go back to that Blender uh, Source Tool site. All you have to do is click on this little button here that says Check for Updates. And if there's an update available, Blender will actually update the, uh, the tool or tell you that you have the latest version there. If there has been an update, you may have to actually close out Blender and restart it in order for the update to take. Well, that's one of the things I don't like about the Steam version is that I can, if I want to have more than one version of Blender running at the same time, I have to actually go back into the Blender folder, right click on the uh, Blender EXE file and run a new session of it. 
Uh, the uh, or what I can do is I can come down here onto the actual icon that's on the desktop and click Blender and then a new version will load. But if I try to launch it through the client and I already have a version that's launched through the client, it won't let me do that. Anyway, that's Blender Source Tools installed in a nutshell and with that we're going to move on now to work with uh, the actual models that we've decompiled and get them back into Source Film Maker. So, with that, what I'm going to do is say Private Jack out.